Praise the Helix Gods. Guess who we found in the river when we were about to take off, guys? It's Armandite! One of the cooler, the cooler version of the lesser uh, original fossil Pokemon. I was more privy to Kabuto and Kabutops. I like Kabutops. Armandite is still really cool. I thought Kabutops was rad. Mm -hmm. I like Kabuto, but I always chose Armandite. What was Armandite's uh, um, evolution? Almasta. yeah. Yeah. Okay, that didn't Kabutops work. is definitely more of a fearsome foe. Oh, it's cool. He's got the sights and everything. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that looks cool. It's not going to do much, but that looks cool. I like it. It did a little bit more than I expected. Don't know where the water came out of, but don't want to know. <laughs> his his uh, diabetes mustache. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't use Wolf or Brimley. We already wasted it. Oh, too yeah. Early. Oh, yeah. Do I, you know what? I don't know if I've seen Omanyte in 3D before. He's looking really cool. I guess he was, I think he was an X and Y. Hey man, I'm not you've sure. been working out? I haven't, well again, like, I haven't played X and Y, so. Like, I don't I like think it. I've seen Omanyte in 3D. Evidence. He looks cool. Yeah, he looks good. Like, he's not a flat side either. He's actually got kind of a roundness to mm -hmm. each of his coils. Hydro well, Pump, they're no! trying to have as many, like, even, even the sharp edges on this are all rounded. They try not have as, they try to have as little sharp points as possible with their Pokemon. You look at, like, the original King and stuff, a lot of those felt, I think, sharper back in the day. Now they try and bevel well, probably because the Probably because the uh, 3D allows you to get a little bit more kind of like, uh, like you said, like rounding a yeah. sense. And just, you know, the softer an image it looks and the more round shapes you have, the more appealing it is and the more less mm -hmm. dangerous it feels. But it can also add to like weird spongy design work too. Yeah. I mean, look at Linus. He's got his head, he's got his head spike. But kind it's of rounded. rounded. Yeah. You got a shoulder spike. A little Defin rounded. Definitely a little spikier though. It's a little bit spikier. His little, his little like elbow one. Whatever Everything he's got going on. Definitely has a little bit of a bevel though to it for a lot of their stuff. Yeah. I would like to see the models be a little bit more dynamic in some ways, but they're doing so many. Um, I don't really blame them. I think if they started today, they would be a lot more robust what we expect but because there's so many out there yeah, it's fine they're like hey man even if it takes 10 more minutes <laughs> per pokemon mm -hmm. multiply that by 925 or however many pokemon are out there it's yeah. like that's a lot of minutes and it's it's not gonna take 10 minutes it's no, gonna yeah. take hours. hours and hours and hours on yeah. top of hours for Which multiple teams really, to do um, each model like yeah that's why i don't really care too much where it's like Ooh, oh, no, 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 no 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 False swipe's fine. No, but I think the I think he's gonna get buffeted. Oh yeah. I think he's gonna get buffeted by the hail. Oh yeah, he's definitely gone. Shit! Quick throw Pokeball! Critical throw! <laughs> buffeted by hail. <laughs> Bye, Omanite. And it's a hundred. He got buffeted! Hit. Oh well, we'll catch him again. But we'll yeah, when we'll you're making that time. many Pokemon, there's gonna be compromises, and it's fine. I would like to see them improve the areas but like, i think the world, i think they're I doing think the, a little bit better in this dlc yeah, a little bit i mean they're working on the framework that they've got so we'll see switch isn't exactly the most powerful console either um, yeah but you could play you could, it could still play be a bit better. breath of the wild on it yeah that's why and you can play breath galaxy of, breath of the wild didn't have to make pokemon yeah. so I, I get the idea for you know memory and uh, different models and yeah. different move sets and there's, all that other stuff there's but... definitely ways to make it not look like a ps2 bush but you know yeah yeah anyway, there's another one is that another that's another yeah. ammonite slow poke pidget arbok that's all folks we're gonna catch this one with a quick ball right off the bat Chen came in uh, during our little break, mm -hmm. and she's like, "I love the turtle. What is that?" And I was like, "It's called Dreadnought, but I named mine Linus." She goes, "That's a cute name. You're <laughs> like, <welcome>. It's great. <laughs> Go look at the basic evolution of of Linus here. Yeah. It's so derpy and like, ma. <laughs> I think it's because the color of its Linus <sighs> blanket from the um, Peanuts cartoon um, comic strip. I think that was basically I think what that's we were going my, with, right? That was my idea. It was like, I don't know why I was thinking Peanuts at the time. I was like, oh. Ah. I mean, Linus's blank is more like an Ammonite, but it's nice. Yeah. It's oh, no, not Surf. I didn't read what it was. I it's probably it's surf. surf. A Surf or Whirlpool or who knows, some water type move. Yeah. I'm going to get him uh, close with probably two false swipes, and then I'll just, I'm just going to go full. full I will say I catching. love the HUD that they came up with for this Pokemon game. I think it's the best HUD that they've done for any of them. I think the only gripe oh. we have is it goes by so fast. What? Defense up? Defense down, speed up? 
Defense fell, but it increases, I think, it's special. Special defense, okay. Attack goes oh, up. Oh, special attack. Bro. Oh, just straight up attack, too. Yeah, Oh, so... and special attack. God damn, and it's speed. So it's a, you know, double-edged one. Where yeah, it's like, yeah. hey, Lowers your... its highest uh, stats All your defense raise up stats go ones. down, yeah. and all your attack stats go way up, including your speed. I get you. I get you. So be careful. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to false swipe one more time and then start catching. Hopefully false. It's not very effective. Hopefully, Jesus, want more than that. Well, look. Luckily, Ammonite's not a rare Pokemon, so it's pretty. Well, easy yeah, to we see two in this river now. Hey, easy there. Stop passing stones. Oh my God, chill, bro. Jeez. Five times. I think usually it's two to three, right? Kidney stones. I don't know. I don't ever want them. I don't ever want them either. Drink all that. Drink all that. Uh, liquid it? you can. No. Uh, what is it? Yeah, liquid helps, but. Uh, Water. I know. Cranberry it's... juice. Oh, Cranberry yeah. juice helps. Yeah, I, I know for people that are susceptible, like you're supposed to drink lots of water to mm -hmm. try and prevent having kidney stones. Drinking water is good too. Ammonite says drink more water. This yeah. message brought to you by 10 more minutes. Oh god, <laughs> drink your fucking water! Oh my god, Linus! <laughs> too much water! Probably just throw a Pokeball and then if Linus chaos, I'm gonna have chaos. to. I'm gonna have to heal. Because I don't want to use a Revolve. Well, Ammonite, you only, oh, get, to yeah, one more I only get one more chance. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just another. Oh, that's well, a, that's you have a good point. water type, so, so maybe. Netball? Dive ball? I don't know if he lives underwater. Try netball. I'll try a net. Underwater, I think, only applies to the ones you catch through the. Uh, what is it? Uh, through the fishing pool? Uh, what? Yeah! Hey! Ammonite was caught. Ammonite is in the 151, so we're not going to nickname him. Nope, he stays the same. What would we name him if he had a new name? I'd name him Shelby. Yeah, Shelby would be good. Because I can't remember what I named my Ammonite way back in the day. Spyro Pokemon. Because some Ammonite... Well, he has one effect. Because some Ammonite managed to escape after being restored or released into the wild by people. I love this, this pixel art. Species is becoming a problem. Okay, wait. So does this help us understand the fossil Pokemon in this region? Because they managed to escape after being restored. So there's a lab bringing back all the fossil Pokemon then. Yes, Cinnabar Island. No, no, no. But this general area is yeah. filled with fossil Pokemon. Well, we did find those, like... So probably what's happening is, like, yeah, it's probably just a bunch of fossil Pokemon that have been brought to life due to that and expedition. They escape? Yeah. Or, or people are releasing them into the wild. So they're Which, an invasive species to this region from the sound of it. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea. It kind of does, right? Like, what does that do to the ecological... The, the, the ramifications of the area. are astounding. <laughs> ramifications. <laughs> That's a sheep, Chris. I know. Shut up. Speaking of woo -loo 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 -loo, <laughs> um, we mentioned it before when we were talking about reusable materials, kind of. We were talking about the regia steel. Oh, the regis, yeah. Yeah, how like harnessing that. When I've been looking for trying to get new running shoes, but I want to try and be as ecologically and carbon footprint low as possible. The words, buzzwords. Yes. Um, I mean, yeah, they're buzzwords, but you know, trying to lower carbon footprint because you go through running shoes usually about one a year or if you really run a ton i've been um, i used mine like once every two years but even yeah. then I, I was like i really should change these by now like yeah, yeah I, like, get you, I get what you're saying depending on how much you're running like if you're running like 20 to 30 miles a month you probably only get six months out of them so i'm like oh, what can i get i think it's there's a certain there's something like a, a certain threshold two thousand miles or five thousand miles or something, something like, that. like that there's a mileage that's supposed to be yeah because what, are... what you should get Without being like, oh, you're more susceptible to hurting yourself now because Which, of these things. God I damn it, I was nowhere near that son of a bitch. You weren't. I need to do more research on it, but there are some different shoes that are like 100% recyclable um, uh -huh. by some companies that they're really trying oh, to totally. get like, hey, we're taking plastic from the ocean. I think it's Adidas that's doing it. Like they're taking o plastic that's from the cool. ocean and trying to completely make shoes out of that. And they're complete like, hey, once that shoe is done, it's completely recyclable. Um, are you going to remember to recycle your shoe, though? And are the people at the recycling center going to know what to do? I wonder if you do have to send it into a certain source. I would the, I would think you would yeah, need some kind of, place. like, cradle-to-grave type of thing. Exactly. Like, there's definitely... There's more infrastructure that needs to be done, which... Hey, wouldn't it be great if we established more jobs... Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to ...through again. infrastructure of recycling? It. It's a greeting. Ah, hey, it's, it's a cutie. 
Okay, that proves my theory that it can be one of the other. Well, that's that's all it is. Yeah, it's just the one type. I want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It is. I want more Rescue Ranger Pokemon. I want more Rescue Rangers. Oh, whoa, 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 I yeah. need my um, Pepper Jacks. I need my Pepper Jack. Um, I need my Cutie Patooties. I need I my gadgets. You're saying all these, and all I've known is gadgets so far. Um. Monterey Ev Jack. Evidently, yeah. Monterey, that was the big dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. With the mustache. Well, yeah, With the moist Yeah. I love Monterey Jack. Uh, just sounds like you and I need to go play the Rescue Rangers game. Yeah. That's really, really hard. <sighs> Not terribly hard, but really hard. Yeah. Oh, please Old don't bite Capcom me in my butt. Game. Please Chip don't bite me in my butt. Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale. It's Rescue funny that I didn't Rangers. think about it at the time, but Chip being based off Indiana Jones and Dale being mm -hmm. based off of uh, was that Miami? Magnum P.I. Yeah, 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 that was going to say Miami Vice, but that's, yeah. Because he's just wearing Magnum a Hawaiian yeah. shirt, and you're like, why is he wearing a Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> I love it, but... It was a callback for, like, adults to be like, oh, cool, I like this. Yeah, my kids are going to know nothing what this is, but... One of my first interpret uh, first introductions to Sherlock Holmes, too, because they had an episode with the Hound of Basketball. Did they? Yeah. Poison Bowl. And I had the VHS of it, so I would watch it all the time. That's cool. And we just watched, uh, what did we watch? Uh, the Over the Garden Fall Night. You watched uh, Great Mouse Detective, Great which Mouse is Detective. another one of the first introductions I had to one of my favorite Sherlock Holmes. Me too. Me too. That was one of the first ones I had there too. I've read most of the first volume of Sherlock Holmes. Like, it's a book. Well, I'm Barnes and Noble. Joking. Don't fucking eat yeah. me, people. Barnes and Noble's had a big giant volume one and two collection where mm. they compiled a bunch of the short stories because they used to be published in, I believe, newspapers oh, shit, back okay. in the day because they were mostly like, hey, they're you know that does sound way. that does some kind of like a, like a public forum type of yeah. thing, right? That does sound familiar. I believe they were like published in newspapers for a while, um, so some of them were very small, like it was twenty a, page stories, like an episodic type of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Some of them are longer, oh, some Jesus. of them are shorter. Ba um, Baskolin or whatever that thing was trying to yeah, eat. Yeah, Basilisk or something. Did I? Basilisk. Yeah, nice. I think it's Baskolin or something like eh, that. Close enough. Oh, jeez, go away, Bas Basky. Um, you mentioned shoes earlier. I'm looking at my Allbirds right here. I actually might be buying a pair of those. Allbirds are hella good, and they've vastly improved their yeah. stuff ever since I bought mine. Mine are, holy fuck, I think four or five years old. Yeah. I, don't, I don't walk everywhere. And well, I don't you think and I our, do have that thing. Huh? Yeah, you and our friend Tammy are big Allbirds fans. And I, I like, love Allbirds as, I was a, like, as you a shoe know brand. And they made a high top, and I'm like, it might be the, worth The high top was what I was looking at. Because yeah. these, if, let, me, let me pull one of these over for you so you can actually take a look at it. Well, yeah. I've seen them multiple no, times. No, but I mean, like, um, I'm, I'm running out of soul on this son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, I don't have much left. But I can't remember what the actual sole is. It's, I don't know if it's soy or... They have two. They have the treetop runners, which are a eucalyptus yeah. kind of blend to it. Um, there's almost star. I'm trying yeah, to grab it. Yeah, I was trying to find like a pathway through without getting Zubats eating me. But yeah, I mean, they're more expensive. Oh, there's a was little that a baby... Baby Lucario. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they're like the carbon footprint is supposed to be um, pretty low. It's merino wool, um, and then I think like a like a soy base for the ones that I bought like four or five yeah. years ago. Like they're expensive. Don't get me wrong. Oh but no, if they're, no, no, they're like ninety bucks. Yeah, oh, I, the, I mean they might be more expensive. The high than tops that. are like one thirty-five. Oh damn! Yeah. I bought mine four or five years ago, and I still have these main shoes. That's, so in the end, it's like. Twenty, thirty dollars for yeah. a shoe over the course well, of the years. Well, I don't want to like... copy both of you. I'm like, well, he's had it for like four years, and they last a long time. Well, they're comfortable. I, and, and they're and comfortable. When my mom was in the hospital, uh, I actually had a nurse ask me. She goes, "Are those all birds?" And I was Plus, like, "Yeah." And she goes, "I heard those are super good for yeah. hanging out all day doing like nursing stuff." And I was mm -hmm. like, "I find them incredibly comfortable. I think you should probably take a look at them if you can afford them, you know." But as you know, as a nurse, they're very, they're very light. Um, they almost feel like you're just wearing slippers, yeah. but they're wrapped around your feet. So I was like, they're incredibly light, uh, not any way water resistant. Yeah. Although I heard the runners are, they did some kind of treatment on them or something. I've heard, but I'm not sure I would pay because I've been doing some research into yeah. the runners. I like, I've heard they're okay, but totally, also totally fine with that. Yeah. They don't really like, they don't keep your feet too base, like. If you want to buy... I think you would want something with a less stretchy wool outer. You yeah, kind of want something with a little bit... more restricted yeah. to keep your foot in line. Um, yeah, I would think so. But one, I like the simple design, and when I learned mm -hmm. more about them, I was like, one thing I do hate, which is the exact philosophy of the person that started All Birds, was he hated really flashy soccer shoes yeah. because he was a soccer player. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of with you. I like shoes that are... Yeah. 
simple. Mono, mono or duo chrome. Yeah, like, don't yeah. have a lot of logos on them, aren't really flashy. It's like, I don't need Jordans. I want just, and I like the Ben Shermans for that as well, but the Ben Shermans, I've bought them and they always seem to break on me. It's like, I don't know if this is worth it. Maybe if I just pay the 135, these shoes will last you know the three years instead of each one of these shoes lasting like six months for well, you, like you have like you have like two three pairs right um the ones I, before the pandemic started well, yeah, yeah. i was gonna Every buy shoe's gonna last three years now <laughs> before i was buying before the pandemic started i needed to buy new shoes and i was going out to buy them and then the pandemic hit and it's just like, well, You're I like well i don't need new shoes now. and i've now worn those <laughs> shoes like three times and my dad commented the other day because we were doing a social distance get together yeah where, Hang out in the garage, and I had my mask on. We're mm -hmm. outside, um, and he's just like, "Hey, you look like you need your shoes." Your shoes. I'm like, "Yeah, about that," because there's a giant hole in mine. It's also getting to be wet I've weather. Worn them three times. So yeah. you definitely don't want like a beat up sole to where you step somewhere and then your your feet get all wet. And I then have you're miserable of, like, the rest of the day. You know, buying like the wool like the wool high tops for basic you know, comfy, everyday man. walking, Ooh, and then like if I need a fancier shoe for like yes that's gonna be more water resistant mm -hmm. buying more of like a um what are they called like a desert boot no not a desert boot but similar to a boot but not entirely um god what's the name of them not entirely sure like i said i've owned these sons of bitches for and that four has, or five years so I've, and I'm kind of out of like, the lingo at that point if it's four or five years because usually I go through a pair of shoes every year and I want to lower my carbon you're a, footprint you were a teacher you yeah. Were, yeah, yeah you walked a lot you ran a lot you walked you in the city yeah, when I went to yeah. school so they would only usually last you, about you put a year. them through their paces oh yeah spiral Pokemon Omastar weighed down by a large and heavy shell Omastar couldn't move very fast some say it went extinct because it was too <laughs> was unable to catch food <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> oh, Sloth the Star. We're not gonna nickname him, but that would be my that would be my silly name for him. Um no, I, I get that man. I get that a lot. Like uh I think I think all birds all birds if you wanna sponsor us. Hey, hell fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, chuckas are basically what they're like. They're kind of like boots. Oh, like a chucka boot. Okay. Yeah, yeah like yeah, a chucka yeah. boot. We're like they're not a full boot, but they're kind of mm -hmm. like a nicer high tops. So like, yeah, like, hey. a, like a mid top type of deal. They're yeah. like mid tier, like hey, you're fancy, but you're not super fancy get togethers type of deal. It's kind of a like a uh, undertoned style. Exactly. Yeah, chuckas are good. I uh, I have. But they're not the most comfy too. So like. Yeah. What's Jesus good? Christ. It's a baby Pokemon, so it's gonna take a lot of damage, I think. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt it. Oh no, it fainted. It I think it said final gambit. And I was like, is that like a self destruct? Yeah. I should have freaking quick balled it. I didn't know what it did. Okay. But based on like you and Tammy, I was like, well, I, both of you love I like this em. brand. And Chris has had these for about four years, and he walks not as much as I walk, but they enough to where like they last. They also told me too, they were like, oh hey, if you if you need a size down, because they were a little big for me at the start, mm -hmm. they were like, just send them back. We'll we'll just get you the next size and we'll we'll resell these or, and the or biggest do whatever thing with for it. Me, I was like, that's a really cool customer yeah. service side of things. The fact that they're printing their So I was pretty much sold. Yeah. That on top of them showing what their carbon footprint for mm -hmm. each shoe is like, hey, that's that's important to me. I like to recycle every little thing I can because it's like, hey, I, I care about uh, the planet. I think we have that guy. I'm Hi, not buddy. sure if we do. Oh, <laughs> I think we have him. And he looks are, familiar. There are other brands that are doing that. I love um, his sound. It's terrifying. <laughs> Actually, do you want to pick up this conversation? We don't have time? them. We have the other one. We have the double-headed one, right? Oh, yeah. We have the ball. Like the, like the d duo dino one. Okay. I honestly don't know. A lot of these black and white Pokemon or whatever gen this is, I think five cool or six, looking. I, I don't know what their evolutions are. Well, before we end the episode, let's throw a quick ball real quick and see, what, right. he, see what he do. Yeah! Just try our luck. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah! Do you know? Do you know? What are we gonna name him? It probably does evolve into the. I think it evolves into the Hydra Pokemon? I think he turns into two or three heads, like a yeah, Dodruo Do so. type of deal. Yeah. And I think we have that one. I just don't think we have this one. Yeah, number oh, battle. We have even. This is Dark and Drag. Yeah, it's this is the first time we've seen one, it. I think. Irate Pokemon. When I encounter something, its first urge is usually to bite it. Yeah, me too, buddy. If it, if it likes what it tastes, it will commit the associated me scent to memory. That's tight. I like that. That's creepy. I'm going to name him... Uh, 
What's it? What's it? Was it like Brachiosaurus? Is that what the long neck is called? Uh, Littlefoot. Folio sor. Us. I wow, think, twelve. I'm landing it. I think that's because he's got a bowl cut. <sighs> Isn't it like they cut. thought that? It's not quite a bowl cut. It's more bangs. Didn't but they yeah. think like the Littlefoot dinosaur didn't exist, and then now they're like, nah, it actually does. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, Lucario, right? Yeah, regular Lucario. I think. I think it was. Do you the have Lucario? Oh yeah. No, I don't. I think it was the opposite. I think it was the opposite. I think they thought it was its own thing, but it turned out it was. I don't know. We're gonna. Have to I think they between episodes. Yeah. We're gonna look. We're gonna return on shoes. Brontosaurus. And we're gonna Brontosaurus. Yeah, Brachio might be something different. Or we're gonna look that up off camera. We're gonna continue this battle next time, guys. We'll see you later. Love you. Beep, bop, boo. Make that, sure. Those tongue clicks. Those tongue clicks are one of the biggest things for trying to trying to balance audio. So, There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> every I'll time remember. it's like when they spike up. I'm like, God damn it, Sam! I have to keep cutting them out or, or toning them down because they spike. It's almost like doing a in the middle of the, the mic. The mic's farther away. I don't know what else to do. <laughs>